You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class. So the last place we left off, ah oh yes, we're doing the beach episode. But uh, just so you guys know, like, there was a little thing last time, a little pop-up that said, you know, some of the assets for the beach, for the for the beach uh, episode are not fully complete. So if if you guys see a lack of dudes wearing very little, then you know that's why. But anyway, guys, let's jump right back into it. Please sit back and enjoy. Let me take you for the next twenty minutes and let's go. Alarm, saying you're up. All right, let's do it. All right. Since Lars and Mark were sort of unwilling to go, Coach Gill had to somewhat drag those two across the sand. It baffled you that Coach Gill had the strength to do that. Wow, no, that is loud. Jeez. There you go. That's better. Alright. Oh, God, what voice did I do for Tora? <laughs> anyway, what says you, Henry? Uh. Wait. I. Oh, um. If that's fine with you, his eyes lit up upon hearing that coming from you. Yes! That's totally fine! What flavor would you like? Hmm, I don't know. Lemon, I guess? Ha! The original one! I'll be back in a bit, then. Take your time. He really is a nice guy. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Very a beat. I felt a little bit too loud. Feels like not at all happy-go-lucky, though. Hmm, what do you mean? Oh yeah, I noticed that too. It comes off to me as the lonely type, especially that he kept saying that, he, that we reminded him of his friends. Yeah, especially you. Me? Yeah, he looks at you as if you were somebody he misses dearly. Really? I didn't realize that. <laughs> Mark. Ha, <laughs> it's because you're dense at times, Henry. Ah! Oh, nice. Can you not scare me like that all the time? Damn, Mark. Jesus Christ, dude. You, you, you Man, you think you think of fuck. You got them gains going, man. That's what we do best. Oh. Jesus. Well, he is the PE teacher. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Seems like nothing important. Uh, anyway, where's Lars? Huh? He was with me just a while ago. I don't think he went- I think he went to talk with Dora. Oh, I wonder why. Well, don't you ask them yourself? They're walking toward here. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, lord. It looks like most of the uh, beach wear is already done. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, how much of that can I show in the thumbnail? <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Here's your Amune, best served cold. Ah, thank you. Oh, yeah, Tora. Hmm? Why not join us here? Ha, ah, is, is that okay, though? I don't really care, to be honest. The others don't seem to be bothered about it, either. Ah, no, y you guys have your fun. Oh, I won't force you, then. Just come here if you need company. Thanks, Henry. I'll keep that in mind. But, can I borrow you for a bit? Yeah, sure thing. Well, guys, I'll be back. <laughs> Don't take too long, we'll start without you. Hey! Well, what do you need? Those are your friends, aren't they? Technically, not all of them. Right, two of them are your teachers. Yeah, but yes, they are my friends. Why did you ask? I just want you to know that, even if you might think that you have things in control right now, you actually don't. You might want to make everyone happy, but from my experience, no one can do that. I'm not telling you to not enjoy yourself or try, but one day you'll have to make a decision. And you'll want to be stern and consistent about it. When I was around your age, I regretted that I didn't make that decision and just let life take its course. So, I have not played the visual novel that he is from. So everything that he's talking about, I do not, I don't, I'm not sure, but I, I just have a feeling it's from stuff in, in that original visual novel. I'm probably going to have to play that at some point. It sounds very interesting. Everybody in the comments is like, oh, he's from this! And I'm like, oh, okay. I might look into that later. I knew the first time I saw you. I saw my younger self and my dearest friend in you. I don't want you to experience what I did. <laughs> ah, sorry. Might have crossed the line. You probably didn't want to hear that from someone you barely know. <laughs> No, it's fine. 
And thanks for reminding me, Tora. I I'll think of what you said. Good. Well, now go out there and have fun. Yeah. Also, thanks for the Ramune. I hope you'll enjoy it. We'll see. It looks refreshing enough. It is. That's why I said best served when cold. If you don't want to drink it right away, there's an ice box by the parasol. You can just put it there if you want. Ooh, so that's what it is. Yep. Oh, but are you sure you don't want to join us? I'd love to, but it really is not my place to do so. It's already too late for that. They have abandoned me. I see. I don't know what you've been through, but stay strong, okay? Let me turn it down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Alright. <laughs> I'm stronger than I look! Um, I don't know how strong that would be. You look pretty strong already. Oh, yeah? I was a small kid back then. I just wanted to show my friend that I grew up. Didn't matter in the end, though. Oh, well. Feeling bad for him, you patted him on the back and he sighed. I'll go now, Tora. Yeah. Thanks for the comfort, Henry. I hope for the best for you. You too! Now, where were we? Right. Here comes my summer vac- Wait, it's only spring. It's not even vacation. Well, I'm here either way. Let's go! <laughs> Day seven. Guys, wait for me! <laughs> Just hurry up! Huh, <laughs> you guys really started without me. At least not all of us. Your big kitty is waiting for you there. Hm, only Lars understands me. You're the one who's been spending time with him, so that's fair. I gotta mess with you. I gotta mess with Anders now. Yeah, fun. But I thought we were gonna have fun together. You just hurry up and ask your big kitty to stop sul sulking over there. Fine. <laughs> ah, you're here. Why aren't you joining the others? I was waiting for you. Ah, my heart, my feelings. Well, now I'm here. Let's join the others. There are two groups here. Mark and Anders and Parker and Gil. And that means... Which group are we joining? I see what you mean now. Anders was sitting under the parasol and Mark was bothering him. Then there was Mr. Parker being ch being chased by Coach Gill. Oh my god. Hmm, how about we convince Anders and Mark to play with us in the water? That's fine by me, kiddo. Ah! Just messing with you. As you walk closer, it was clear that Mark had been what Mark had been doing. He was digging in the sand and... What was that for? Oh, hey Henry, Lars. Uh, why are you digging holes? He said he was finding treasures. Vanilla clams. I didn't say that! Huh? But you clearly did. You should stop playing that game. What game? I don't really know, but I saw him digging up clams in that game. Clam... You guys wanna play clam digger? <laughs> It won't be easy to find them without the proper equipment. The best time to dig is during low tide. You should look around for those coin-sized depressions. Sometimes you'll see water squirting up from them, too. Just make sure you refill each hole after digging so people don't trip on the holes. Yeah, yeah, I got you, big kitty. Anyway, you two aren't going to join them? Henry wants to convince you two to join them first. Huh, why is that? We're here to have fun together, right? Yeah, and? So we should stick together. I'm having fun. But but you haven't changed your clothes even. I'm not too fond of the sea. Aw, but at least take off your shirt. Isn't it a little bit hot here? <laughs> Henry over here being thirsty bastard. <laughs> I'm fine though. <laughs> Maybe you should just leave him be. Hey, come here, all of you. Thump. Lars grabbed the beach ball and threw it back to the sea. In a bit, coach. Thump. That was the second time it hit Lars. Come on! We're bored! Maybe you should just let them be. Must you hit me with that massive ball twice? <laughs> oh my god, that's such a great out-of-context line. Apparently third time's the charm didn't apply here. It only took two hits in the head to flip Lars off. Lars grabbed the beach ball and ran towards Coach Gill. Being a big cat, it was easy for him to outrun him. Thump. Crack. Snap. That was the noise you heard after Lars managed to catch him. Youch! Gilbert, no! Name's Gil! Rest in peace, coach. That's enough visual representation to know that I should mess with Lars. Huh, <laughs> you're right. You took a mental note so you wouldn't be in Coach Gil's position somehow. Well, if you guys aren't joining, then I'm going. Wait, I'll go. Having a change of heart, Anders? 
Huh? I don't want to pressure you, though. No, I'm here to have fun with you guys. If I'm going to sit under the parasol all day, I'm better off going home. Oh, really? Awesome! You can go. I'll take off my shirt. <laughs> Damn, I was hoping that you'd sit here and ask so I could join you. No, mister, you're going with me. Fine, fine, I can nap later. Hey, before you go... Hmm? Sunscreen. Yes, we need that before you start asking questions, so start spraying this on yourself. <laughs> okay, okay. Here, I'm done. You, you, you always know people best, Mark. Nothing to it. Everyone. Ooh, man, look at them boys. Not particularly fond of Coach Gill, but he does have quite a body on him. <laughs> he twist his damn arm. That's amazing. Oh, my arm! You made an audible gasp when you saw those three hunks standing shirtless in front of you. Hello, Thumbnail. What kind of situation is this? Beefcake party, perhaps? You're here! How did it go? Did you manage to convince them? Somehow Anders decided to have fun with us. You did good, then. He patted your head. That was good. Maybe a little bit embarrassing because the others were watching. <laughs> Coach Gill, apparently not having learned his lesson, hit Lars on the face one more time with a beach ball. Gill's Ball Revenge! Commence! You! I'm gonna kill you! Wilford Brimley. I'll kill you! <laughs> oh, props to you guys if you know what movie that's from. Huh, I didn't know they were this close. <laughs> yeah, Gil likes to mess with Lars. I'm glad to see them having fun, especially Lars. Doesn't happen often, yeah? Oh, you knew? Yeah, it was really unfortunate what happened to him. I tried to help him, but he didn't want me to. And you came in and broke his wall. Don't know what you told him or what you did to him, but I'm glad that you did. Uh, I don't know what I did either. <laughs> well, it worked out just fine in the end. That's all that matters. Huh. Where's this big kitty and Coach Gill? When you looked over, the first thing you noticed was shirtless Anders. His nipple piercings, to be exact. His one nipple piercing. F face up here. <clears throat> F face up here, Henry. But right, sorry, I didn't know you had a piercing. Who? yeah, I just noticed that. Looks good on you. You guys are embarrassing me right now. Ha! Huh, I thought you'd start lecturing him by now, Mr. Stone. Hmm? Why would I do that? I don't know. Anyway, you guys are, haven't answered my question. Where are those two? Where are those two? I'm here! Ha! Huh. Why are you running out of breath? Lars, don't stop chasing me. I had to hide and bail on him. Maybe it would be wise to not hit me with your beach ball. Ah, I'm sorry! Conk. This game is fun. It's fun. Done already? Yeah, you guys have fun without me. Heh, <laughs> lame. Weren't you the one who wanted to take naps? Nap can wait. You need to build up your energy to you you need to build up your energy some more, Henry. Yeah, that's all that also can wait. I'm going now. Whew! I haven't stayed outdoors this long. Feels a little bit good. Maybe a little bit thirsty. Oh yeah, the Remini Tora gave me. I should try drinking it now. A, rough, a rush of refreshing and chilly air blew in your arms when you opened the ice box. There were a lot of carb there were a lot of carbonated drinks in it. Did Mark buy all these drinks? Ah, there's my drink. Hmm. The bottle was a little bit different than what you were used to. Once you removed the seal, instead of looking at the usual bottle cap, you were greeted by a green cap. What am I supposed to do with this? Upon thorough inspection, you noticed that the center of the green cap could be pushed down. Yep. Yes, I love that. So you did, and the centerpiece fell out. Now what? Nothing here made sense. Maybe you should try asking Torahiko. You're a strong and <laughs> You're a strong and defendant, man. Ooh. Oh, Henry, how are you gonna fuck this up? I think I can figure it out. It seems like it can be used to push whatever's in the middle of the blue cap. You push the marble-like thingy with the green stuff using your palm, and sure enough, the marble fell down. Huh, what's this marble for? <laughs> That's to seal the bottle. Huh? I got bored, so I went here to look around, and I found you messing with the Ramune bottle. I should have told you how to open it when I when I got it for you. My bad. Oh, no, it's okay. I got it open in the end. Well, you enjoy your Ramune. I actually need to make a phone call to my old man. Oh, okay. Take care, Tora. Will do. 
You sheltered yourself under the parasol all by yourself, away from the sun while enjoying the sound of the sea. It made you feel mentally refreshed for some reason. Didn't know that you needed that until now. Oh, so you're here. I thought you went somewhere else. Oh, Lars, sorry for not letting you know, but I needed to rest up. <laughs> Understandable. I thought you thought I saw Tora here. Where did he go? Uh, he said he needed to make a phone call. You're looking for him? No, not at all. Oh, why are you bringing your backpack? Oh, I need some help. Hmm? Can you spray this for me? The sunscreen? Yeah. You know, you can just bring the sunscreen here. You didn't have to take that backpack with you. <laughs> right. But yeah, one needs to reapply it after swimming. Hmm, that makes sense. Well? Yeah, sure thing, Lars. I said that you... It said that you need to shake it before using it, so you did for a few seconds before spraying it on Lars. I wonder if I have to rub it. Maybe I should, since that's what I did when I used it on me. And I saw Mark doing it. That's why I did it. Huh, where should I start? You placed your hand on Lars's strong shoulders and started rubbing it. That almost felt unnecessary, but it had to be done. Yes, yes, it's for the sunscreen. No wonder he looks so attractive in tank tops. Those shoulders are something to kill for, at least to me. Not wanting to feel like you were taking advantage of the situation, you lowered your hand, now touching his back. His fur was still slightly damp, and you sprayed some more of the sunscreen before you rubbed it before you rubbed it some more. You had this impulse to hug him from behind for some reason. Eh, maybe that's a little weird. Do it anyway. Yeah, fuck that. It's not like I have any other choice. Wrapping your wrapping your hands around his lower back, you were greeted with something surprising. Nothing lewd, mind you. The surprising thing was you knew that Lars' gut was a little bit fluffy looking, but you never expected it to be this soft. Hmm. Uh, Henry? You're so warm. Oh, thanks. What does this have to do with, uh, spraying the sunscreen? Oh! Hmm. Both of you stayed in this position for quite a while. You wish time would slow down so you could indulge in this, in this intimate moment to your heart's content. But everything had to end, and so did the skinship. Eventually, you let him go. Uh, sorry about that, I just had this impulse to hug you. Th that's okay. Next time, just let me know so I can be more prepared. <laughs> oh. Does that mean I can hug him anytime I want? Interesting. Well, we're done with your back. You can do the rest, now. Yeah, I'll be fine with the rest. Thank you, kiddo. Ah, I'm not a kid! <laughs> it's so cute seeing you like this. Do you, want, do you want me to help you with the sunscreen? Uh, I'll be fine. I'm not going out there anytime soon. Okay, then. Hmm. I'm a bit sleepy, though. You can rest your head on my shoulder if you want. Maybe I'll do that. I don't mind, really. I know. Neither of you said anything. Maybe that's what. Maybe that wasn't needed. After all, let the gentle breeze of the ocean and the sound of the waves do the talking, as you two sat under the parasol together in companionable silence. Until Lars decided to break the silence, that is. It's been quite a while since we did this, huh? Huh? Is this, isn't this your first time going out together? Ah, you're, you're right. Maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> I, I need to go for a bit. I forgot to give this back to Mark. I'll be back. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay. Awkward. So much for resting my head on his shoulder. Huh. He left with a soft he left with a rush and left his backpack here. He would give it back to him, but if he was avoiding you, then what's the point? Huh? What is this? One big mistake Lars had made, bringing the backpack with him. There was something that fell out of it when he dashed away from you, and it piqued your curiosity. It's not a breach of privacy if the thing is literally in front of me. Pretty sure that logic wasn't right, but you convinced yourself it was valid anyway. Isn't this you hurried to grab your backpack to see if, you, if to see if yours was still in there. It was still securely strapped inside your backpack. How is this possible? What is this I'm feeling? Anger, confusion, distrust. Those feelings spiraled into something big that ended up way, ended up making you feel what people would call betrayal. That escalated really quick. Despite that, you made sure you didn't let it out of control. No, I shouldn't lose my cool right here. I need to talk with Lars. I had a feeling that I'd seen him, but I didn't give him too much thought. It's different now. I have to make sure. He went to the back to the beach and saw Lars carrying his backpack. He was looking around. Maybe he realized that his pendant was gone. He's obviously hiding this from me. Hey, Lars? Y yes? What are you doing? I'm, uh, just pacing around. Are you hiding something from me? W what are you all... What are you saying all of a sudden? I might be naive, but I know you're hiding something from me. 
don't you think that you, of all people, should stop the act already? Here, explain this. He shoved the pendant to his chest with force. Fear crossed his face and his mouth opened slightly. I... Please, just tell me. Don't you think I deserve to know this? I've spent my whole life trying to figure out the purpose of this thing. I don't know. I'm desperate and you're the only one and you're the only lead I have. Okay, calm down, Henry. He was right. Acting with your emotions right now could make things go south. You're right. I shouldn't have pressured you like that. You must have your own reason to hide that from me. I don't have the right to be mad at you or anything, even though I'm really frustrated right now. You have the right. I'm, I'm sorry. I've kept this a secret from you. I can't tell you everything right now, but I promise I'll tell you all, down to the last details when the time is right. How can I believe you right now? Especially with the fact that I just found out you've been hiding something this important for me the whole time. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Ooh, dramatic episode. Sexy episode, too. Come on, lovely guys. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super leave a super thanks you can, aka a tip. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!